quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. Clay Thompson has been sensational. Always been a dynamic scorer, and, and we saw in that first half the entire repertoire on display. Yeah, he's a hard man to keep down, and so far they haven't found the answer for him. I don't know if there is an answer for him, quite honestly. Warriors trail by four. He adds the Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson at the guard spots. Green at the four with Bogut at the five. And it's Barnes in at the three. That's Steve Kerr's five as we get into the second half. Uncovered. And the jumper falls for him. Barnes has got the first basket of the third quarter for the Warriors. Here's New Orleans. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Right the pass to Ingram. Screened by Valanciunas. Passes it to Ingram. He feeds it to Anderson. Shot clock at three. Free throw line jump shot. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. And that's 17 points for the dude. And you know, Ryan Anderson, here's a guy, Greg, who tortures opponents from beyond the arc. Maybe the best long-range shooting power forward in the game today. And, and, you know, he's tricky out on the perimeter. Crafty at, at running people off picks, spots up well. And even when you close out, he has that high release point and quick trigger to knock it down on him. Pelicans leading by four. And White kicks to Valanciunas. The pass to Ingram. Front pass the arc. Good. The dude's got 20. Of all the guys you want to leave open out on the perimeter, he is the absolute last guy on the list. Attention to detail. Know your personnel. Now here's Curry. He has seven. Feeds to Thompson. Green dishes to Barnes. It's Curry outside from beyond the arc and then some. Curry's got ten points in the game. Only took them a few seconds to answer the three ball with one of their own. Greg, we've got a three-point battle taking shape here. Here is Anderson. Ingram passes to Gordon. Offensive rebound. They get a hand on it. Here's Valanciunas and a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's on Andrew Bogut. Some good play from Valanciunas in this one. Ten points and also a blocked shot. This is something special. I mean, he hasn't missed a single shot. It's really hard to put in words just what he's doing out on the floor. It's his first trip to the line. The free throw drops for Valanciunas. And though he's been working on his offensive skills, defense and rebounding are Valanciunas' bread and butter. That was the case with him when he was playing in Lithuania Club. And it's the case now. It still sure is in size, athleticism, and fluidity. Just a tad over-aggressive at times, but I'd rather have to turn a guy down than to turn him up. Now here's Curry. Ten points for him. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Boga kicks to Thompson. Alan Junis against Boga. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And now let's take a moment to check out the stats for Green. Last year, getting it done. Last season, he averaged 11 points a game, eight rebounds, and three assists. And for a reserve big man, not a big drop off when he checks in the game. Yeah, you know, you want your team to at least hold court when the reserves come in. Don't lose ground. He definitely keeps them solid up front. White against Thompson. To the wing right side. Here's the dude. 20 points for him. From deep. The Warriors pull it in. 
Green's got his third rebound on the night. In, in watching Valanciunas rebound, it's clear he has all the tools. Great anticipation, really looks to box out. Strong vertical, might just need to add some strength to become a perennial 10 rebound a game guy. And for Valanciunas, he's been working on his defensive consistency. Last year, he actually increased his blocks per game while lowering his fouls per game. That's a big step forward in his development. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Thompson from long range. Rebounded by Dallin Junis. Dallin Junis has got six rebounds now in the game. White dishes to Dallin Junis. Pass to Gordon. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It will be three points if he converts at the line. You know, of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. Yeah, all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks that Coach drew up. And you know, guys, Eric Gordon was an unbelievable three-point shooter last season. 45% from behind the arc. The first time he's been over 40% in his career. Now here's Curry. He's got 10. Now here's Barnes. Thompson from long range. And again, it's the Warriors missing. And here they come. And White kicks to Anderson. Ingram passes to Anderson. The lead pushed to double digits. And it's an 11 point Pelican lead. And a sharp pass to set up that high percentage shot in close. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. They got to find something. You're right. Kicks to Barnes. Lock at six. They need this. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. Now that's finishing your work right there. Powerful two-hand, Jim. You're right. And I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will start shrinking even further. White. White. Good. Now they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. And, and that's why they're on this run. You get that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to make shots. The shot by Curry. No good. And that'll increase their rebound advantage. They've definitely been winning that battle on the board. You know what? No rebounds, no rings, and they've controlled the boards, and that's what's given them control of this game. Gordon with no one around. No good from outside. Boy, from my angle, it looked like it was in the bottom of the net. Looked good from here. Yeah, I'm about as shocked as you are, Clark. And how about Harrison Barnes, the Black Falcon? I mean, he was a high school phenom in Ames, Iowa, and a lottery pick back in 2012. Uh, after two seasons at Carolina. Remember also in high school, he was a teammate of Dougie McBuckets. Harrison Barnes, of course, went to North Carolina, grew up as a huge fan of former Tar Heel Michael Jordan. Yeah, you know, interesting, his mother started taping Jordan's games on the VCR years before he was born. His given name, Harrison Bryson Jordan Barnes. How huh. about that for I a factor? I didn't know that. Nor did I. <laughs> Some of Harrison Barnes's teammates have referred to him as the senator because of the way he carries himself. And, you know, a very level-headed, dignified young man. And just he, he has an air about it. And it's White missing. Warriors trail by nine. It's Curry with the drive and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. And Harrison Barnes at times has been criticized in the past for not being more Clark assertive on the court. Well, you know, it's interesting. He had to weather the pressure of expectations since high school. I mean, people were comparing him to Kobe Bryant back then, but HB can't get caught up in that. He's got to be true to himself. You know what I tell guys? Do you. Yeah. Do you. The first free throw is good. And guys, Steph Curry, the rare point guard who's almost as effective playing off the ball as he is on it. And the Warriors have really emphasized that 
as he's evolved as a player, bringing in a lot of playmakers who can set him up coming off screens. Stephen Curry hits them both. And speaking of Curry playing off the ball in the pass, Clark, we'd see him guarding shooting guards defensively. Some said trying to hide him against lesser offensive players. Well, I think guarding two guards gave him a chance maybe to save some energy for the offensive end, but recently Steve Kerr has had him on point guards more. You want your best players taking the challenge at both ends of the court. And he's finally getting the feel from beyond his second three of the half right there. Well, the game's getting bigger, going international. But at least in the U.S., it really seems the game is going indoors. Back in the day, the legends of the game still played on the blacktop. That's becoming a thing of the past. Warriors trail by 10. He dishes it to Bogut. He kicks it to Thompson. Leans inside. Nice touch on the bank shot. Thompson's got 20 points. And speaking, Clark, of playground basketball, why do you think that is that the players are going indoors? Well, I think one reason is playing on hardwood is nicer. It's easier on your joint and safer overall. The game has changed and it's big business now, but there are still plenty of weekend warriors who get their hoop on outside. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Now here's Curry. 12 points for him. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And guys, nice to see Bogut out there given all the injuries that he's had to overcome in his career. Just glad to see him at full strength. You know, and Bogut, as I recall, Clark was so distraught by those injuries that at one point he thought he might retire. Yeah, he gave some serious thought to packing it in after the 2013 season, Kevin. Luckily for his team, though, he worked through it and is as strong as ever at the defensive end. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, David West, he's checked in for Green, and it's Igudala in for Clay Thompson. And New Orleans also making a change. Monroe's checked in for Ryan Anderson. And despite some of the injuries over the years, Andrew Bogut, still one of the game's best shot blockers, averaging well over two and a half a game in his career. And Greg, he's, he protects the rim like few others can, a rugged player. And in, in last season, almost three block shots per game. And, and with all the offensive firepower around him, I think it really allows him to play to his strengths. That's why having a great team is about pieces of the puzzle fitting. He's a terrific piece for this group. Here's Barnes following the score by New Orleans. Four on the clock. Curry dishes to Iguodala. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got three assists now in this one. Here's Carter Williams. And getting back after number one overall way back when was because of his insane combination of size and movement skills. That's why he remains one of the excellent shot blockers in the league today. Goes up the baseline. Here's Ingram. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. The dude's got 10 points here in the second half. Warriors trail by 12. Curry kicks it to West. West a screen on Monroe. It's Curry with the drive. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Curry's got 14. Hey, when you talk about Bogut, I, I think the Warriors' incredible regular season inspired him. He, he didn't have to be the star. He just had to anchor that deep. Sometimes when you give a guy a specific task to be the best at, that's what he delivers the most. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding, and they're piling up the assists. Here's the dude following the basket by Stephen Kerr. Dishes to White. Iguodala with the steal. And Iguodala with a clear path to the hoop. And he trims the lead to single digits. Iguodala's got five points in the quarter. And with that speed, once he took off, the D just had no chance of getting back. Well, I think they did the right thing. I mean, just give up the two points and move forward. Hey, discretion is the better part of valor sometimes. Write that one down, game players. Discretion is the better part of valor. Outside for Carter Williams. 
Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Carter Williams has got six. Oh, man, how about the last-minute decision there to pull the shot down and get a better one for your teammate? Curry kicks to Bogut. Curry against Carter Williams. Curry passes to Bogut. Back to Curry. Five on the clock. And another three for Golden State. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Timeout called here. The Pelicans decide to talk it over. And, and Steph Curry, not just a superstar player, but, but one of the best contracts in basketball this year and next for under 24 million combined. And you can bet he's due for a major increase in pay when 2017 rolls around. And for Stephen Curry, a value contract, but a growing list of endorsements. One of the top selling jerseys in the league, a signature shoe deal. Uh, he's doing all right. Yeah, I don't think he's worried about it. He's got a Bible quotation on his wrist that says, love never fails. And that's how he approaches the game, with a true love and faith that his hard work is going to pay off. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. I was able to listen in on what Alvin Gentry had to say to the team. He went over the offensive plan and that it hinges on running through the dude. Coach is calling on him to play a big role in the offense for the rest of this game, to really be one of the key guys for them down the stretch. Probably a good time to make some changes with a good chunk of the second half still to go, Kevin. And thank you for that, Doris. There was just enough defensive pressure to get him off balance and cause that shot to go awry. West outside. Barbosa dishes to space. Inside, here's Igudala, and he uses the glass on the lane. And now just a five-point Pelican lead. You gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of grinded out physical game. That's the kind of look they can continue to go with. Maybe that'll help them create some separation on the scoreboard. Here's the dude. 27 points for him. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. I tell you what, he clearly had a brain freeze uh, on that one. You might just as well keep going straight to the bench. New Orleans making a switch here. Gordon's checked in. And here are the Warriors now. It's a five-point game. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They sure have been. I mean, really looking good and sharp offensively. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Now here's Iguodala. He's got nine. The feed to Spates. Six to shoot. Shot is off. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Golden State's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. That's good. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Here's the dude. Ashik with a screen on Iguodala. Here's Ingram, using his post move to get the two points. The dude's got 29 in the game. And we've watched three so far in this one. Pelicans lead by five. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. Welcome back as we get rolling once more. The fourth quarter right ahead in what's been a very well-contested game. New Orleans leading by five. Setting the four now for the Pelicans. They've got Anderson. Jonas Valanciunas is out there with Omer Asher. Then it's Michael Carter-Williams, and it's Gordon in at the two-guard. Now here's Gordon, Anderson, and it's New Orleans scoring again. And they're scoring much more efficiently here in the second half, and they've gotten that field goal percentage above 50. I tell you what, any team will take that. I mean, if you're shooting over 50%, it means you're getting the kind of looks you want on offense, 
and you're being smart about it, and you're knocking down the good shots that you get. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team. That's why they're ahead. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Eagle Dowler. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for the Warriors. Anderson with the ball, and it's Iguodala picking him up. Anderson kicks to Ashik. And they double up Gordon, pass to Ashik. Six on the shot clock. Some nice passing here by New Orleans. And here's Anderson from the arc. Warriors trail by seven. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Livingston passes to Thompson. From deep three-point range, can't get it to go. And New Orleans will come the other way. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. And Asha kicks to Gordon. Trying to find Valanciunas, gets it to him. Tries from 10, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. And the Pelicans lead by nine. Golden State's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Livingston dishes to Green. Green with a screen for Iguodala. Out to Thompson. It's rebounded by New Orleans. Gordon's got three rebounds now in this one. The dish to Carter Williams. Ashik the pass to Gordon. Anderson outside. Shoots the three. Anderson can't get that one to fall. Warriors trail by nine. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. The defense better watch out. They better be alert because this guy can make threes, as we saw in the first half. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Well, he's a guy that you know can hurt you with his passing. And right there, he does some damage with his finishing, too. And Thompson kicks to Livingston. Shot to stop the drought. Hits the front of the rim and out. Pelicans leading by 11. The drive by Gordon. Really unfortunate for Eric Gordon that an assortment of injuries have really derailed his career. A few years back, he looked like he'd be an absolute star. Once a 22 points a game score, was down to 13 a game last season. All right now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Slowing down Gordon, no easy feat. 15 points, and he's chalked up one three-pointer on the day as well. And Clark, I'm sure that won't be the last one. A lot of times, he can get hot and stay hot from beyond. Stephen Curry, he's checked in for Sean Livingston. The dude, he's checked in for New Orleans. White comes in for Carter Williams. Gordon hits both of them. Can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? I mean, they've been perfect so far. Yeah, as cool as can be, Clark. Great focus and efficiency. That's how they built this lead. And here is Curry. Thompson for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, on the top of Derek Gordon. One would think he's still young. Talented enough to be a difference maker with any team. He just has to stay healthy. The truth is, though he's had a number of injuries, they, they've all been different. It, it isn't one chronic thing. So, with a little good luck, we could see him shine once more. Here's Curry with the three. That's good. Curry's got to back down to single digits for the Warriors. There's six points on consecutive three balls. 
They're finding holes in this defense. No doubt the defense had better play a little tighter. Spinks with the block. Here's Iguodala. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. You know, block shots, guys, a clear indicator on the stat sheet of their excellent defense. I mean, leaving them no room to get off any shots. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. This is some kind of performance we're seeing from him today. He has yet to miss a shot. Now Curry. Thompson outside. Fires the three. Another three for Golden State. This looks like a pregame shoot around with all the threes there. Defense in the warm ups. Right now, these are just shooting game shots. Here's Ingram, and he jams it with authority. Oh, he's just dangling from the rim after sending it through there. You can see which team now has the swagger, Clark, right now. Yeah, it's exactly. It's with them. Hey, guys, that swagger can backfire because you don't want to get your opponent a little too riled up. Passes it to Kerr. Rebounded by Dallin Junis. And just because you can make it from outside doesn't mean you need to live there. Not that far out anyway, Greg. I mean, he can work for a better shot than that. And that's exactly how they've gotten the lead right here. Easily, he's been their most consistent performer. As simple as it gets, he's hitting everything he's looked at. Keep feeding the fire. Curry dishes to Thompson. Down low. Spades the pass to Green. Pelicans with the rebound. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. From the arc. They get it back. And again, it's Valanciunas. Valanciunas has got 10 points in just the second half. Their rebounding has been off the charts today, guys. Reason number one, this game is out of hand. Exactly, Clark. Their lead is not surprising, given their advantage on the backboard. Spates kicks to Thompson. He feeds it to Iguodala. Let's it fly. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Outside Gordon. Looking for Anderson. He gets it there. Draymond Green pulls it in. Green's got six rebounds here tonight. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. <laughs> Is it me, or does it just feel like he gets every rebound that comes up? Well, he practically has gotten every one that's available. A 20-plus rebounding game is not something we get to see very often, Greg. Now a time. I'm out called by Golden State. Coach can't be pleased with their inconsistency on the defensive glass. They've been caught taking pictures out there. They're watching, as opposed to getting in there and securing the orange. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hi, Kevin. Steve Kerr was just going over the plan with his team. He was emphatic. We're not getting it done, fellas. We've simply got to step up, get engaged, and try to battle back. Guys, we'll see if the pep talk gets them going. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, Bogut comes in for Maurice Spates. And it's Barnes in for Andre Iguodala. Thompson in the post. He's against Gordon. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Thompson against White. Launches a three. And that one's good. And the Pelicans lead by 15. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off of them during the run. And Thompson kicks to Bogut. Back to Thompson to stop the run. For long distance, Queens Bill. Thompson's got 11 points here in just the second half. Pelicans leading by 12. Anderson outside. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline.
Curry against White. Curry dishes to Green. Thompson passes to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden State. Barnes can't get it to go. New Orleans gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. White drives in. And the pass to Ingram. Gordon against Curry. And it's sent back by Bogut. And so it looks like the Pelicans will retain possession here. Welcome fans to the FIBA World Tournament. Two on the clock. Deep two from Anderson. Anderson can't get that one to fall. Oh, boy, I tell you what, they don't get much uglier than the quarter he's having. Yeah, and it's not showing any signs, Greg, of turning around here soon. I mean, this touch is basically gone AWOL. With the success they've been having from the three-point line since halftime, I'll bet you that scoreboard starts to look a lot different real soon. Partner, that's assuming they can continue that hot shooting. But if they do, and especially if they can get a few stops, you have to think they'll make this thing interesting. Light the pass to Ingram. Gordon against Thompson. Light a screen. Just five to shoot. Deflects the pass. And the rebound goes for the rebound, especially on a night where the board work has not been their best. But they're still in this one, fellas. Can they pump it up a notch here in the clutch? You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. And no doubt about it, the defense, you can see him exhaling right now. Fortunate that he didn't knock that one down. No good from Valanciunas. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Offensive rebound. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember, just not really able to score the basketball. Right the pass to Ingram. Tries to snap the cold streak. That one wide left. Warriors trail by nine. Outside Curry. The three. Here's Green. Out to the wing. Nobody near Barnes. Releases from the wing and drills it. He's been much more effective in the second half than he was in the first. New Orleans has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Barnes against Gordon. And it's sent back by Bogut. They retain possession. Well, they really had it going on the offensive glass in that first half, but here recently they've gotten away from that. They've got to be aggressive in attacking that offensive glass here in the second half. And Thompson kicks to Barnes. Shoots from the high post. In it goes for the fifth time and ten shots for him this game. Halftime much more effective here in the second half. Pass to Ingram. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. That one on Thompson. You know, it's apparent there what a leader he is. Always communicating it and keeping everyone on the floor in sync. And, Kevin, that's such a good point. You, you know, it doesn't always show up in the box score, but those leadership qualities of his are just as valuable to this team as anything else that he does. He hits the first one, and that stretches their lead to eight. So he gets them both, and it's a nine-point ball game here. And that's exactly how you close a game out. Those free throws will bury them for sure. Curry. Curry with another miss. New Orleans with the ball. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Valanciunas. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. 
And the Pelicans lead by 11. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth. Not sure there's anything they can do to salvage this one. Not anymore. I mean, any chance they had got away from them, slipped right out of their hand. Another miss by Curry. Kevin, he's missing shot after shot after shot from long range. With time running low, he'd be better off trying something else. Outside White. So we see the Pelicans taking the W here. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And Ernie Johnson is still in the building, folks, for the postgame show. Coming up next, the 2K Sports postgame show. Many thanks, Kevin. So now we move on to our Jordan player of the game, Jonas Valanciunas. He had an outstanding fourth quarter where he really shined, pouring it on heavy down the stretch. This guy is efficient. He don't believe in taking bad shots. He's all about the high quality shots. It makes him a powerful presence in the low post, and he can impact the game on the defense end too. He takes a lot of pride in protecting the rim. I can't imagine a player having a better night from the field than he had tonight. His shooting percentage was off the charts. He used every trick in the book to get those high percentage shots. He shot from every direction, and there was a little bit of luck here and there, but he was on fire. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight, but we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA for Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K sports crew. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon.